Let us now learn how to express inequalities or given situation as absolute functions. Question here is express using absolute value notation. First, x is greater than or equal to minus 3 and less than or equal to 3. x belongs to real numbers. x is not equal to 7. x is equal to minus 5 or x is equal to 7. I like you to pause the video, write down absolute functions for these situations and then check with my answer. The first one here is that x is between minus 3 and 3, both are included. So from the absolute value definition, we can write equation that absolute x is less than or equal to 3. It means that all the values between minus 3 and 3 will be included. Now if we have x belongs to real number, it means what? It means that there is no restriction, right? So x belongs to real number, we could write as an inequality also, and that is absolute x is greater than, let's say any negative number, for example, minus 1. Now the solution for this will be all real numbers, right? So if you are representing these on number lines, let me show you on the right side for both of them. In the first case, we are looking for values between minus 3 and 3, both included, right? In the second case, we are looking for all the values of x, no restrictions at all. Now, in the third case, we have x is not equal to 7. That means on a number line, we are looking for all the values but not equal to 7. That means there is a hole at 7. How are we going to represent this as an absolute function? Well, we can imagine that the absolute function has been translated 7 units to the right. That means absolute value of x minus 7. And if we say that absolute value of this is we want all the values but not 7 greater than 0. If I say greater than 0 then for x equals to 7 this value will be equal to 0. And if I say greater than 0, for any other value except for 7, absolute function will be greater than 0. So absolute x minus 7 greater than 0 it represents the situation that x is not equal to 7. Now here's the last one. We have x equal to minus 5. Let us say this is minus 5. And we have x equals to 7. In this case, we have to write this situation as an absolute in absolute notation. How are you going to do it? Think about it. Well, the way to do it is find the midpoint. So midpoint between these two is minus 5 plus 7 divided by 2 minus 5 plus 7 divided by 2 means 2 divided by 2 or 1, right? So the midpoint is at x equals to 1. Now from 1, how far away are we? 7 minus 1 is 6 and this side also we are 6 units away, right? That gives you a hint and now you can write down absolute function and you want them to be equal to, right? That is to say, if I move my absolute function one unit to the right and I'm looking for the value equal to 6 then I get this as a solution x equals to minus 5 if I write minus 5 here I get minus 6 absolute value of minus 6 is 6 if I write 7 for x 7 minus 1 is 6 and absolute value of 6 is 6 so that is how you can represent inequalities or all the real numbers or the numbers which may not be included as an absolute function. I hope that helps you to understand absolute functions in greater details. 
I'm Anil Kumar. You can subscribe to my videos and learn more about functions. Thank you.